I'm in my garden in North Somerset. It's a beautiful, sunny, but very cold day. And yesterday, just around the corner, I made a vessel in the earth. I dug a small hole and used porcelain to build up a vessel. I left it overnight and I'm just going to show you what happened to it because I looked over the balcony this morning to find that it did break. Um, I wasn't sure whether it would or not but obviously we had a frost last night, so I probably in hindsight should have covered it with um, a bin of some sort. But as you can see, although I had hardened the clay with a blowtorch, it has actually um, become very, very soft again. And it's, uh, yeah, fallen apart, which in some ways is a shame, but I was also expecting this to happen and I was also wondering well, how would I actually be able to lift the vessel out of the ground so it's something that I'm going to need to think about and maybe I put some uh, straps of fabric underneath before I start making it so I can lift it out um, or maybe I try and lift it out sooner. I thought that having dried and hardened the vessel it would have stayed hard but obviously what I didn't appreciate is how damp it is um, the weather is at the moment and overnight. So there is my first um, earth vessel if you like and um, it was really lovely to create inside the earth and bring the porcelain which is manufactured porcelain back to its mother really um, and it's something that I'm going to consider how to take this further. It was really nice having the earth um, pieces of soil and leaves integrated into the body of the vessel as well and um, I took some photos luckily when it was still in one piece and there was something really um, mushroomy kind of fungal about it growing out of the earth um, which was also really interesting and seeing it within these surroundings in the corner of my garden my intention is to actually do this in a woodland next but I wanted to make sure I kind of knew what tools I needed so that when I do that I, I know I've got everything I need um, in case you know I do go to the woodland and then um, you know, I don't have to go back to the studio or I won't be able to uh, create the vessel because I'll be missing some important tool. So I feel more prepared now and it will be interesting to see where this aspect of my work goes.